In my last video, I mentioned a question about Ruby. This is a dog that had TPLO surgery 10 days prior to posting her question, was, which was, what happens if the good leg has a torn cruciate? And I answered that question. But today's video answers her second question. And her question was, how long does it take to build muscle back in the leg that had TPLO surgery? So to answer this question, first you have to understand the stages of healing to understand how long it will take muscle to rebuild. This is going to get a little bit technical, but I really think you need to learn this to understand how your dog is going to progress. The first weeks are the acute and subacute phases where inflammation and pain are present. That's why your dog's on medications. And it's important to note that within 72 hours of disuse of a leg, the muscle starts to atrophy. This means it gets smaller. And that is worse if your dog has not been using a leg for a period of time before surgery. So it may be even smaller following surgery. This is why it's so important for the first two weeks to do icing, heat, massage, passive range of motion, and gentle weight shifting, as well as taking the medications that your veterinarian has prescribed. The passive range of motion and weight shifting is a gentle and easy way to try and help reduce muscle loss and pain. I have two videos on this, when to use ice and heat, and the other one is what to do the first week following TPLO. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already. The third stage is called remodeling. And this is where inflammation and pain have pretty much resolved. And this is at about the 10 to 14 day mark. And typically when stitches are removed. A little tip here, if your dog has already has some osteoarthritis, this may delay the pain and inflammation stage. At this point, exercises are based on how the dog is doing. This is when active home exercises can begin to try and engage those muscles that haven't been used. It's important to remember that bone will not be healed at this stage as it bone takes about eight to 12 weeks. And this is why you get an x-ray done at the eight to 10 week mark. A little tip here as well, your dog may tell you otherwise, which is why you're sent home with those horrible restrictions. And believe me, I've seen it all here. The goal of the x-ray is so that the surgeon can see how much remodeling has occurred. You can expect at this point, the eight to 12 week mark, that the bone is about 75 to 85% healed. And at this stage of the game, most surgeons will remove any restrictions or at least most restrictions and allow longer walks and that kind of thing. And just remember, if you haven't been doing any exercises when your vet tells you you can let him do whatever and you haven't been walking him or exercising him, he could actually injure a muscle. So it's better to start slow. Now the juicy part and watch till the end because I'll give away how you can improve your dog's muscle recovery at home with no underwater treadmill. Haha. <laughs> so at the two to three mark is when we start engaging wasted muscles using a home exercise program. It can take anywhere from six weeks to six months to rebuild to normal strength. This depends on the age of your dog, his health status, his body weight, and many other things. <clears throat> so there was a study comparing two groups of dogs following TPLO surgery. And one group had no home exercises and the other group had a progressive home exercise program performed two times daily for five to 10 minutes for 12 weeks. This also included the underwater treadmill, but the study didn't say how long or how many times a week. I will do another video on my thoughts on the underwater treadmill for building muscle. And yes, I used one for almost 15 years, but I don't anymore. I sound like I'm in some sort of program. Anyway, the results of this study were based on measuring stifle function, so how it moves, static weight bearing, so just standing and moving statically, and the owner's perception of pain and limb function. And for geeks like me, this is called the Canine Brief Pain Inventory, or CBPI. So wait for it, and I'm sure you can guess the results of this one. The intervention group, i.e. the ones who had the home exercise program, showed a significantly greater improvement than the control group regarding static body weight distribution between the hind limbs, pain-related functional disability, and stifle function, i.e. the knee. So the take home message here 
is if you start a home exercise program 14 to 21 days after TPLO surgery, your dog will have improved knee function, weight bearing, and less pain, which means your dog will have a quicker recovery of muscle mass. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon.